Much warmer weather can have a dark side, of course, and tonight there is a new projection that rising seas due to climate change could cause a whole lot of damage much sooner than anyone had previously thought. The report from our chief environmental affairs correspondent, Ann Thompson. That is one angry Atlantic. The ferocious surge of the Atlantic powered by Hurricane Irene last August moved a lifeguard tower. Whoa, look at that. The house is taken off. Broke through a seawall and sent water rushing into the streets of New York's Long Beach. A scene that will become more commonplace, a new study says, because of rising sea levels caused by global warming. Benjamin Strauss of the nonprofit group Climate Central says the odds of a 100-year flood happening by 2030 doubles for two-thirds of the places studied. We found that a once a hundred year flood becomes a once a decade flood fastest in Southern California, where we expect to see that within a couple of decades. Who's at risk? By 2030, the five million Americans living on coastal land less than four feet above high tide lines. By 2050, it expands to six million people living less than five feet above high tide lines. Here in New York City, the danger is not just to the low-lying areas where millions live, but to the very way people get around. The funnel-shaped New York Harbor could worsen storm surges that could flood the city's vital subway system. Loading the dice, heat-trapping gases from burning oil, coal and gas, melting polar caps and glaciers and warming the ocean. Measurements taken in Bermuda show 58 years of increases. The temperature um, will be in red. There's more heat in the top couple of meters of the ocean than in the atmosphere. But climate change skeptics say you can't blame the rising oceans all on global warming. The sea level rise caused from climate change is actually less than the sea level rise caused from land sinking, and we can't stop it. A future dependent on the ocean and threatened by it. Ann Thompson, NBC News, New York.